So, which one do you want to move into? Oh, the back house, I love the kitchen. The doors stack all the way back, so when I'm cooking, I can just do my thing and be looking out. Yeah, but the front one's got the rooftop. The front one does have the rooftop. I don't know, we haven't made it easy for ourselves. No. They're both amazing. <laughs> We're currently standing on the top level of the front house and unfortunately we're not going to quite get ocean views just above these buildings just behind us. However, due to the lay of the land, the front house just over here, the land actually falls from the street away. So it is a, the, the original ground height was higher that side of the block, which has allowed us to get about another 800 mil of building and in turn it's allowed us to get a rooftop just in one section of that build, which would definitely get ocean views. You can see this one to your right, they've got a rooftop just there and they get really good ocean views up toward Old Woman um, and up toward Majimba and Noosa. So that rooftop will get the same views, which is awesome. When designing the kitchen in this house, we wanted it to feel spacious, but we also wanted it to be functional. We were just thinking in terms of like, <laughs> probably um, Couch for long here. Mm -hmm. Facing facing the TV wall, but we're just thinking to give us a bit more space, like put yeah. this come Shrink that down this way a little bit. Yep. Now it's like what? splash backs in, bench tops in, islands in, like it's really starting to come together that way. It's all so exciting, isn't it? Yes. He's running around like he owns the place already. Oh, I'm sure he is. Okay, <laughs> whose house is this? It's my house. My house. I've lost count how many times. Third or fourth time that we're going to Kitchens by Design to choose our stone. I think we can agree the absolute hero piece in our kitchen is our beautiful smart stone bench tops. Yeah, for sure. And not only that, they're also great for the environment. The new range is actually low in silica and made from 56% recycled materials. It was important that we got the colour selection absolutely spot on and I'm so glad that we dropped into the showroom because Arcadia that we went with is the absolute perfect colour for our beach house. There's a reason we went with Australia's leading supplier in engineered stone services. Their latest range has 38 colours. We wanted our beach house to be practical but we also wanted to maintain that really coastal beach house feel that we've been going for. Mm, nice and white and bright. Moving over to the dining room, and this really also forms part of the kitchen. This is where we're going to be doing all our entertaining when all our friends come over. And we've also got the big stacking glass doors out to our Juliet balcony, which is going to allow us to feel like we're actually sitting outside. Our kitchen overlooks our sunken lounge, and moving on down there to the 3.7 metre ceilings, it really gives us that sense of space. We've got a nice big window up in one of the walls that overlooks out to the rooftop terrace. To continue that indoor-outdoor theme, moving over to the back house, we have these huge glass sliding doors from Bradnams that open all the way up so when you're standing in the kitchen, you literally feel like you're outside. There is no shortage of glass in this back house. Moving over to our outdoor entertaining area, we have another corner stacking door. It's actually really cool. This one was custom built on site and it stacks right back. There's no pole in the center, so indoors flows straight out to outside. And because it was custom built for the beach house, not only is it beautiful, but it's also really functional. In the kitchen, functionality was important. So we went with a Tambo double bowl sink with an Astro gooseneck pull down. We wanted to be able to wash our veggies. And also under mount it, because I think it's a lot tidier if it's all tucked away and mounted underneath the bench top. 
Our kitchen then flows across to our study nook, through our dining room and over to our lounge. Just behind our lounge, we've got our walk-in linen and our nice main bathroom. And I absolutely love the rainwater shower heads that we've used throughout our bathrooms and not to mention in this bathroom in particular, the huge mirror. To bring both these top floors together, Blink Living has come through and styled them to absolute perfection. Yeah, there's no way we could have had them looking like this without them. It was so awesome to see those cranes arrive on site and start lifting those spiral stairs into place to give us access to that rooftop terrace. I'll listen more in the next episode of The Beach House Build. Yeah.